Welcome everyone. In today's session, we will be discussing about the story, The Bench by Richard Rudd. So this particular story focuses on the notion of apartheid system in South Africa through the eyes of a man known as Harley. He was a colored South African man who was influenced by a speech on racial discrimination and he decides to challenge the injustice of racism. So basically, the story explores the themes of racial discrimination and violence. So uh, let's start with a short summary of the story branch. So Carly is a central character in the story and who is standing in a crowd when the story starts. He is uh, looking at a platform where uh, a row of speakers uh, were assembled and the speakers are from both black and white. So the, all the speakers were addressing to the people who gathered in the crowd and they were talking on how black people are stripped of their basic existential rights and treated as very inferior to the white people. So the speaker behaves uh, in a way as if there is no difference between black and the white, even the white speakers on the platform. For Carly, it was def 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 definitely a strange idea. And he could see that a white woman in a blue dress offers a cigarette to say. He is in, really impressed by the speech and the different things that he had witnessed there. And that's the first time in his life he believes that he felt that even black people do have their rights. And Kali leaves the meeting once it is over. And that, that speech still, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, disturbing him in his head. He is confused by the new ideas uh, that he got from the speech. He knows that it is dangerous, but at the same time, he wants to think more about it. And he sees the railway station and he reached there and he can see that the both white and the black people walking around there. But there is a mistrust from both the sides uh, is shown there. And he remembers the speaker's speech again. And he wants to challenge the discrimination. And he just noticed something written on a bench there. And it is written as Europeans only. And he decides, okay, in which way I'm going to challenge the system, this discriminatory system. He sits on the bench and the two conflicting ideas start to trouble him. He is torn in between him having the right to sit on the bench and he doesn't have the right to sit on it. And he just took a cigarette out and he started smoking it. And no one noticed him initially. A woman just passes by him and he thinks that she might ask him to move out from the place, but she didn't pay attention to him. Kali is now tired and a third conflict idea hits him. He starts to think that he sits on the bench because he is tired. Suddenly, uh, a man shouts uh, at him and Kali neither responds to him nor moves from the bench. He just slowly pops up at the cigarette. The man keeps again shouting and threatens him to uh, call a policeman. A crowd gradually gathers there and from different sides they were throwing opinions. Finally, the policeman arrives and they decided to take Kali away. They decided to arrest Kali. Carly was not at all responding to anything that is happening to surrounding. Carly sits very silently. And even when the policeman questions about his whereabouts, he didn't respond. The white woman in the blue dress from where Carly heard uh, approaches to help Carly, but the policeman starts hitting Carly without listening to her. So other people also started doing and hitting him. And the constable um, puts handcuffs on him. Carly struggles but suddenly stops as he thinks it is useless. The only thing that he did is he smiled. He just smiled and he thinks he has won the challenge and he dared to sit on a European bench. So now let's go for an analysis of the story. So there we can see that the central character is a colored man. He is listening to a life-changing speech that convinces him of the need of challenging the racial discrimination. He felt that this is an injustice. Racial discrimination is an injustice. And Carly stands in a crowd and he is focused on a black speaker 
was talking about the discrimination and at the same time we noticed that some detectives were there in that uh, the, the ground to note down what the person is addressing and he was really impressed and he thought he could have rights the colored people could have rights and moreover he knows that even white people are talking like this it has to be thought they are the the black ones the colored people are stripped of their basic human rights and he struggles with his internal conflicts as he has earlier mentioned it is dangerous to rebel against such a huge issue the true alone but he decides to uh, fight against this injustice in his own way he has chosen the bench where it is written as europeans only as his weapon against the injustice that his uh, whole community is facing the whole community of the blacks are facing so the story hints at humanity through the spectators who take carly's side when he is sitting on the european bench when the white woman who gave her speech on the platform comes to his rescue and the behavior of the white man towards carly shows how black people are treated in general carly is abused pulled that beaten by the people and he utters nothing except a smile to show his resistance the policeman who arrived there without any question misbehaves with carly and arrests him the discrimination prevailing during the period is evident through the spectator and the official's action so this one instance this incident shows the struggle the colored people go through every day carly is abused um on the road his internal conflicts regarding his simple decision of sitting on a bench the white man screaming at him and hurling abuses the mixed reaction from spectators and the behavior of the officers and it is that humans are against humans only because of color difference prejudice and assumption and that adds to the misery of the oppressed colored people so the story is basically narrated through a third person narrative using a very straightforward language which shows the thoughts of the main character carly who lives in south africa during the apartheid system was very pro uh, dominant and the story presents the internal conflicts of carly and his emotions from the beginning to the end of the story and the important themes that we can find out from this is obviously racism because um Carly notices the speakers on the platform giving speeches on the discrimination against colored people and how they are stripped of their basic human rights and treated as inferior just because they are born black and the speech on the indiscriminatory society in which they live that affects Carly because it implies the injustice faced by the black people and because carly was initially unaware of the misery that he lives through until he hears the speech so an ignorant man can be influenced by the speakers educate him on how he is deprived of the basic rights of existence and mistreated only because he is black so the speech changes everything that he knows it brings him new truth and awareness and even a sense of responsibility that forced him to challenge the system of apartheid so racism is clearly shown throughout this story and even the speech the speech and the platform uh, only exist as a symbol to fight against racism the labeling of a bench in the station as europeans only shows racist behavior towards colored people so the man screaming at carly to get off the bench shows his racist attitude towards the black people in general and the office are uh, the officer arrests carly simply because he sits on a bench that brought europeans only and the spectators who came there to pull and hit carly which shows the preconceived notion of racism and how much these white people are carrying it in their hearts and carly sitting on the bench is the great challenge as he fights against racism and the next important theme is violence because carly sits calmly on the bench uh, he was actually fighting with his inner conflicts suddenly a white man appears and shouts at him uh, to get off the bench carly 
Gandhi didn't respond because he never felt to respond to such a shout. And the man gets violent and he starts abusing with his different uh, offensive means. But again, Kali sits quietly without flinching. So the man's abusers attract a crowd and they have mixed opinion of Carly's positioning in the bench. Finally, the officer came and he starts, he was very rude with uh, uh, Carly and he put handcuffs on him. But meanwhile, the spectators, what they had done is they tried to hit um, Carly, uh, you know, in very violent manner. So these are the important uh, themes that we can find from um, the story bench. It is a very strong reaction to the apartheid system and the racism that is very dominant in the European countries. Thank you.